is a long one. Because longer than your sword, actually it's not true. And uh, if you classify as a long weapon, three meter, from here about here to there, three meter is a minimum. And this is less than three meter as a considered a short weapon. Short weapon can cut, chop it. Long weapon you cannot chop it. Because uh, it uses a uh, thrust. And uh, in the roughly about three something between the book, there's a documentation. I uh, talk about classification of the Chinese weapon. They actually have two parts. Hacking weapon and the stack weapon. Right? And the function never inter interact with each other. So this is a pure stacking weapon. Right? Because three, this is a 3.3 3 meter. If you want to hack it, you need a ring on the top. But because of the Da Chang technique, we do a lot of uh, certain uh, attack. So you thrust halfway like a Bruce missile. If some people try to pull out and your legs with the go, the tip can change direction to another direction to do attack. So if you're too heavy, you cannot do this. So this weapon cannot be hacked because no mass on the top. You hit each other. If I wear the armor as a soldier, nothing. And uh, also, even 3.3 meter long, you want to store enough energy. You probably have to raise this one over 90 degrees and then hot hacking down in this way. And the distance you travel right, takes too much time. And this weapon, basically, it just uh, point towards the, the and if this is the target, I'm right, right here. Right? When I find an opportunity, thrust, thrust right away. Right? So, Okay, uh, this weapon, why I show you guys uh, 3.3 because our uh, uh, standard uh, in the history, in the big speed, can be 3 meter up to 5 meter. Up to 5 meter, the soldier cannot hold it on the end. They hold it something behind it. But when you trust it, the tip hitting uh, steel armor and it's hard to manage it because your forearm will never align with your bottom's uh, stack. So a lot of uh, if your head is sliding off. So the proper doing that is we actually put the end into your palm. Like so called pistol grip. Right? So when you thrust and look at my forearm and the back arm is a straight line. And it moves my palm and push. So the, my hand will not slide forward. Right. So full soldier is a little longer because they can have longer reach. All right. uh, this is a typical for horseback soldier. If you see the horseback soldier uh, in, in history, the Arabian soldier, and they are on the horse. And their bachang are almost exactly the same time, same place. Because on the horse, you cannot have a two soldier with a shield in front of you. You have to do all the blocking technique. And if you are not only uh, to block, attack towards you, also attack to your horse. You have to protect your horse as well. So uh, in the two long, it's very hard to do the block. And 3.3 3 meter long is a perfect on the horse back. When you're holding like a, the horse is this way, using the saddle, you can easily cover the horse head and the horse tail very easily. Right? So to maneuver the, the technique. Right? So, but after the firearm was introduced at the end of the Ming Dynasty towards the Qing Dynasty, uh, which is about 300 years ago. Uh, Chinese army uh, converted into firearm. All the cold steel weapon was uh, dismissed from the army. And this weapon had no usage for civilians. Right. How, how do you carry a three meter long uh, spear and go through the scalpel? That was a play without the spruce and stuff, right? So in the old, in the, in the, after, uh, Manchurian time, right, 
uh, the end of the Lin Dynasty, uh, martial artists back to the empty hand. In the military manual, I have, uh, which I, I did my uh, PhD thesis on, this says, as a soldier, you learn martial art, empty hand is not important. And if you have a spare time, you could learn, but not necessary. Right? So the weapon is amazing. But my research is uh, Chinese martial art into the Nigerian time uh, become empty hand, become major things. Weapon, particularly the Ba Chang, is too heavy, too long to carry, and too heavy to practice. The techniques are very, very difficult to learn this weapon. Right? You need a lot of uh, big muscle to do the small maneuvering. Uh, it's very difficult. So people use it as a weight training. And once you use this as a weight training, the technique is done. Right? So this is why I spent about 20 years, start from uh, 1978. Uh, you can guess my age. <laughs> I'm 74 this year. Uh, uh, so I actually try to go back to the history. And the, the documentation I can have is the Ming Dynasty documentation. I can, I can, so I did a 20 year study, then I went to uh, Shanghai, Athletic University, uh, to my PhD study. And I, I was engineer before I went. But martial art is my hobby, uh, my whole life uh, hobby. Uh, so I went to Shanghai at age 54. I spent three years getting my PhD on this one. And my thesis is Ming Dynasty Military Pattern and Modern Competition Story. And uh, this Pattern Competition Story started from Toronto. Uh, the first competition we had, uh, 1979. 1979, uh, 1999, which is about 25 years ago. And the, the, my friend from Taiwan visited us the following two years. And uh, the third year, one of the, my common brother, he was a rich, rich guy doing the electronic business. He came to visit, and uh, he didn't practice much art at that time already, but he told me, he said, James, I have a money. And uh, what can I do to it? I say, I cannot carry three meter long wooden uh, ba You know how hard it is? Every year I spend, visited the lumber so many times, looking for two by two with a tall feet. Very hard to find it. Once I find it, I put it in the garage for three months, make sure it's dry and never curve. And then hand plank, I just hold the wood, hand plank the whole thing. Right, for three hours to make a wooden lens. And uh, it might cut during spiral and injure each other. So I use underground paper right, to cover the whole wood section up to uh, two meters long. And he stripped the whole thing. So the, the wooden lens I, I made, uh, start in 1998, is still working today. Still working today. But when I practice, even the winter day, I have to put a can through the front windows and try to close. Let my son sitting on the passenger side and use his shoulder lift the whole thing. Because if you don't lift it on the highway, the vibration crack my windows. <laughs> so there's a snow actually blowing, but we'll carry it like this in practice. So I told my common brother, I say, uh, for the sport to moving forward, I need something easy to carry. So I had to be not come up with us, two sections. So I gave him the design. He said, okay, the rest is mine. So he immediately find the factory, I built this one for us, and we are back since then, right? And as I mentioned, I was an engineer, and actually my undergraduate is a mechanical engineering. Uh, I use a 3D design, the mold, and send the drawing to China to make the mold. Uh, I have a whistle, whistle uh, uh, landscape. So every time you hit on the front, the air actually build up, there's a battery fuse in there, and the pressure increase yeah. and blow the whistle. That's yeah. like that. Yeah. All right. The bubble comes here. Yeah. The most important is this is a flexible, 
has no mental power to give you the symptoms. So, this is the second generation, and I had it for many, many years. Uh, then my, another younger brother came in and said, okay, I want the money. And I said, okay. And they built the panda factory, do the more, <coughs> and make this one up. So we we'll use this for practice. But who will com compete? Something similar, but the front actually closed. Only have a little hole in front. Remember, this is a weapon for thrusting. So if you thrust like this way, the air pressure will leak through the small hole. Only if you hit it directly, maximum is 45 degrees. If you hit this way, the air chamber will compress through the venturi tube. There's a sensor right behind the venturi tube. Right? Why still feel we have a second. I can set up uh, in this unit to say pressure equal how much, how much, nine level. And acceleration in this action has to be over rate five. If you have acceleration this way, I can keep it people like this. This never trigger the light and the signal. So if you cross right, pressure get the right, uh, acceleration along the shaft it is exceeded the value. The light around, light ring will the light up and send the signal to the manual. The manual will talk to the computer. So if you two people drop like this way, they will be able to tell the time difference. Less than 50 milliseconds, consider a third shot. More than 50 milliseconds, the signal will discount. Because in the real, in real, if I hit somebody, and penetrate to the body, right? According to uh, British uh, police uh, research, three inch hit into the chest is very difficult. People might die. And also for human uh, natural response, if somebody step into three inches, you will not keep on fighting. You will put somebody froze. If what you want to do, somebody froze. So this is why we, we define as this uh, 15 minutes ago. So this is three inches or six, yeah, six centimeters? Uh, three inches. Three yeah. inches, yeah. So three inches into human heart is very little. Yeah. Very little. So when we, we actually designed this one, this particular air chamber, give you roughly about six uh, centimeter uh, cushion. After the cushion is used up, because I might step over the thrust, right? After the whole thing was used up, they will lead to the side. Yep. So it become a sliding to your body. Mm -hmm. So we're not actually hurting much. Okay. And the base is also rubber, but with a different hardness. So give you certain push. But in electronic to us, the first generation, uh, we have a signal here, a sensor here, talking to the manual, manual of the computer. Uh, now we actually do the second generation. Uh, it's a uh, one PhD student in Taiwan doing this one for us. Uh, four camera around the, the fighting area. Uh, every time this one give a signal, kick. They immediately record the last 15 second video and display on the big screen automatically. All right. So uh, actually, we will put a sensor on the front and on the on the end. He will calculate based on your GPS location and calculate where this tip landed on the body or the right. to us. Our rule is the body shot into the head. Little, three point. Arm, leg, one point. And nobody went to a battle for a whole day, come back, no wood. Must be a lot of tapping on the body. As long as it's not little, you're okay. So we're using lift is one point, body trunk, three point. And whoever gets 11 point will be okay. So that's all we do. And uh, for the armor, we don't have armor today. Uh, we use a hockey hammer, and we use a hockey hammer for almost 40 years. Because when my son uh, learned uh, sparring, uh, we, we start the back of the hockey hammer. 
where you use a pocket uh, hammer for stand up. As long as we, we, we are on the ground, both will stop, take the glove off, and pocket hammer off, okay, then back to the position and continue the fight. So when we get to this sport, pocket hammer becomes natural for us. And we use pocket hammer. Now the international Tachang organization adapt the hockey hammer in China as well. Uh, body armor, uh, I did the armor design and the reproductions for many, many years. We use a high dynasty fish steel armor. Right? The different from European armor, European armor always one big piece. Uh, in the Bronze Age, Chinese use a one big piece as well. But after the war period, right, about 3,000 years ago, Chinese are adapting, uh, how you call that, a small pieces, and lace them together, very flexible. So we wear the Han Dynasty fish skill. No, no, no. Lantern is the third. We use the Lantern arm, uh, we, uh, the, the armor we, we, we use actually can be Trees to Han Dynasty uh, two armors, right? Because I love the archaeology, so I collect a lot of the pieces. Uh, so I find that this two has many pieces coming out. So I reproduce the same armor. The armor you wear, you actually can do it. It's so fragile, but give you a good match. So we wear the Han Dynasty uh, fish armor, right? Morning protection. I want to do that fish. So this sport is uh, originally in Star, <laughs> uh, right in this town. Right? Uh, the, the first uh, modern fashion competition uh, is here. Then Taiwan is back there. And, uh, then the two younger brothers uh, of, of, of mine, uh, they wanted to help me. And, okay. uh, first, they challenged me to get the AFC. To get the recommendations, and uh, then they started to promote. Now, many universities like uh, Nanjing, uh, Apple University, and many, many universities, they want to put this one into uh, university classes. So, we're, we're, we are actually writing about the, the uh, teaching guide for universities to use. So, so, hopefully, this sport will, will launch for forget you. Can we just test the space here? Can we get someone to do it? Because we have a class too, we don't want to do it. Oh, okay. You want to do it? Uh, shoot, shoot. You just do it. This is the thing. Okay, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll just do it first. Yeah. Okay, stay here. How about the meeting? How about the meeting? Okay.
stack pattern. So I learned the stack. I said, okay, this is the bottom score. Uh, you compose a stack technique without any composition. Why? Stack is using the, the shell yeah. to hack it. Right? You use this one happy, there's no need to hack it. And I have to take my little weapon away to the bar. Yeah. I said to be fair, use a stack weapon, right? As it was in the old day. And to be fair, I want to put my blade for my And then that, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> no, 100%, little power, I have my own kind of yeah. That's why. Okay, but he refused. <laughs> <laughs> you refused, not me. <laughs> that's the power. All right. So this is a sport now. Yeah. All right. You have to consider a lot of safety issues for the company. Yeah. Yeah. So, in this sense, what's the kind of day to day practice you or do you look like? Just like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nowadays, because it's shorter, uh, if you reduce this one to 2.8, right, I will use no waste. So, who I use by hand? I use a hand. Yeah, like this. Okay. And no nothing to do with my body. Yeah. But this weapon, if you look at me, look at my head movement, for blocking, no hand. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. here, I see. On the horse, I just have to stand up a little bit, a few inches off the, the saddle, and I'm on the horse, I can use this one. Ah! And it's yeah. So everything comes from the hips. But modern spear, or short spear, they put a long spear, I put a short spear, uh, using hands only. Okay. And they're taking, they make a lot of fancy movement because they stress, they pull back and turn. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Pretty. Yes, pretty. Pretty that relax in the balance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want this one to be as stiff as possible. So when I block, my hips back right to the center and immediately thrust. Yeah. Uh, do you guys practice? Do you guys do wear gloves? Kind of yeah, we wear gloves. We, yeah. we wear we wear helmet. We wear armor. Right. Um, okay. But because the um, the lens tip is in mm -hmm. right, so it's not equal at all. Right. Even if we don't wear, it. Well, I don't know that it's just that because when you go back and forth, right? They had a lot of pressure, yeah, pressure, yeah, pressure yeah, on yeah, their yeah. arms and stuff like that. Yeah, especially so, people with sweat on their hands. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So it's not they they were so much black, and I hate it. Because you know why I hate it? When you Chinese and Chinese or Hula, the front hand is like a cubic, right? When I thrust, I hold it like this way. But when I thrust it, I lift the three finger open, and only the two become a circle. So when I thrust it, my real hand will come right away. The thumb to thumb, in that kind of thing. And mostly, they hold it too tight. The fresh and fighting for the for the thrust. So that means your hand holding too tight. Mm -hmm. right. But easy for them to solve is get a ball. But I don't I don't guess it, I don't like it. I never use a ball. Okay. Uh, for, for. Did, Did they ever use a tube? Hmm? Did they ever use a tube for something oily in the right hand to, to have a slide? Yeah. 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 Condition yeah. is called something like that. Her thing feels very smooth, especially if you have to practice a lot. Yeah. It's very but smooth. It's really easy. All the military uh, uh, manual from the Ming Dynasty, I have a collection of Chinese military manual. Every published, I have it in my basement. Oh, cool. My collection is worth about 3,000 books in my basement. All right. So, all the military manual before the Manchurian manual. After my training time, they don't use it, the little copper. In the Ming Dynasty, all the manual says, Bai Wa, the white wax, is for stack. Wen Cai Yi. Yeah. You know why? Da Cha, as I mentioned, has to be stiff. So when I pull out, swing like this, they don't have to turn. The head just go back to center. I can trust. If too flexible, turn, move. The I I that's my and that's my Okay, but why? Why wax flexible are good for the stack? Because 
you put in the sack like this way and hack it down. If you need this one to hack it, something heavy, a stick, man, your palm, because the vibration, your gravity force, hurt your palm. Hurt. Okay, yes. Yeah. So you need something flexible. You one hit like this. The vibration actually can damp you down by the flexibility of this one. And also, if you're flexible, your contact arm is longer. So when you use a bilat, hit something, the bilat can actually occur. So they transfer more energy to the receiving yeah. arm. So it's beneficial to have a flexible hacking weapon, but for that time, that I see. Yeah. In, in the ancient manual set, military manual set, uh, sir, that you know, in terms of uh, English, it's 100% stick. They need this one, and this is. Yeah, I think that is a, that's a very of my next question. Traditionally, the, the regular spear yeah. is like you use the, the bellator. So uh, like yeah. uh, my interpretation or understanding is that uh, if you have practiced long enough, you can apply the challenge. Not only training, but also kind of uh, confuse your enemy uh, your is <laughs> 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 not a uh, it's a more performance. Right. Yeah, for, for the loop. Yeah. And people put the, the tussle on the. So when you turn, it's all they can uh, cover his face and right. say, it's useless. Because yes, most of the enemy is only you only do thrust. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Yeah. And oh, uh, that's why he does. So he can use this kind of very steep, hard kind of uh, stick uh, rather than the uh, in the YouTube, I have uh, videos of uh, real play on the back, on the back mm -hmm. I trust on the uh, basketball bar. Yeah. Right. And actually, people say, oh, what happened if the blood floating down to your head becomes slippery? Actually, in the video, very clear. I go, ha! The water actually spins up about 40 minutes. Okay. Very small, get into my back Yeah. But when I do the block, shoot like this. All the water, shoot, all gone, all gone. I never reach one third of the my yeah. yeah. So, but you, you, don't want to, it. you don't want to confuse the enemy. You want to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, probably that's not the right word. I was just talking. You may notice that you make a new one. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? 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 This particular uh, uh, technique, we always say, don't look at people's uh, passion. Okay. That's not your enemy. It's a person for you. Yeah. So I don't even look at your, uh, the people that I, if I look at people that I have, I'm going to pass it. <laughs> pass it. Uh, I look at your face, facial expression and the shoulder. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where your passion is. Okay. So people who watch here, then what he do we I can have Yeah. Right. So the idea is that, oh, you turn and the swing, the, the, the tussle swing, confuse people. Actually, people never look at the tussle. Yeah. And mm -hmm. look at it like the like, like okay. Just like that. Who I learned the Chinese martial arts, so for the traditional, we have Da Chang Ta Chi Chang. Okay. All right. So uh, in Taiwan, some people do the Da Chang competition, they require two players. Going forward, touch the back hand like this, and then this time. And I have a particular uh, uh, article published in China, talk about this one. And then think about it. You are a general. 50,000 cavalry holding the back hand, charging forward. And the Mongols get 50,000 charging forward. And within three meters, both generals say, stop! And then we will invite somebody to get the touch. I said, okay, let's start it. <laughs> no way. The horse runs through and pop down. <laughs> um, right. So, would it be possible for, uh, from a tradition of like ruling? Yeah. How uh, there's like the Western, like they have this, so it's just for ruling, even if it's not for war? The competition is more like ruling. Mm -hmm. In the military, uh, all the soldiers get an annual uh, exam. You would decide the salary increase, just like what we have today, right? That year-end review performance. 
how they will view in the Chichibong army is all the soldiers that will fight with the Dachang soldiers. Dachang soldiers only fight to the Dachang. On the battlefield, the most difficult weapon to face is the fire. So all the soldiers with a gun fire, with a shell, uh, with a machine, uh, with a staff, they all have to pass the value of death by fighting with the Dachang soldiers. Uh, so, quick, quick question, do you have a machine at your home? Huh? Do you have a machine at home? Machine? Hmm? There's no, yeah, yeah, do you have a machine at home? No. That's, that is very, uh, you yeah. know, according to the Chi Chi Wang's book, yeah. uh, very low end soldiers get used to launch. Uh, you are <laughs> over 40, now flexible. Who's the line? It's like a big, 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 yeah. So what they do, they have a big blow, go in front to the head. So I'm hanging on my, on my neck, I hold it like that. He says, all the people sort of like that, not scared, and they look a little panicked. Because not, from my understanding, it's not, we are not panicked, we are too slow to response. <laughs> <laughs> so they only say it's very simple, they don't practice anything, they go, shh, shh, like this. If a samurai holding the blade like this, they can shoot so many French in front of them. Right? So you cannot hold that so right here. They don't want to kill them. They just hold your arm like this, and the lancer shoots a blade right here. Yeah, it's not right here. So once you have the the bar is over. Right, so that's the how they use it. They put the defense function uh, into the two front soldiers. So the soldier who have to practice a lot of defense. As I mentioned, this one, offense is trust, little bit. Yeah. You give him this one, you don't want to trust. That's it. A blocking is very difficult. Right. It's very difficult. And the, 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 the civilian uh, master uh, in the beginning of the maturity time wrote a book, so he wrapped up an arm. He mentioned it. it's a blocking technique, you need a whole life to master. <laughs> you probably do it now. <laughs> I actually, uh, every time I do the exercise, I do the, this one on the train, uh, I have a training machine. So I can do blocking in here. So, uh, okay. okay, okay, thank you so much time for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, my language, please. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday morning. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.